Imagine changing the world's approach to design with a single vision. This is Melanie Perkins' story with Canva. Welcome back to the Female Founder Series. I am so excited to be dissecting Canva as it's from my hometown, Australia. And guess what? Melanie grew up in Perth, which is super close to me as my mom is actually moving there this year. Why I love this story is not many tools have been able to change the landscape of design like Canva. Not only has it caused a disruption in the world of social media because we're able to create very complex, very beautiful aesthetic designs using a tool that normally graphic designers were only able to use. You think back, a lot of us were paying a lot of money for photos shop designers because we won't be able to create our own logo or even just a simple post on Instagram, right? Or if we wanted to create a Facebook ad and we needed some cool ideas on like, how do we actually put that all together? Canva solved all of those problems for us for a very small subscription fee where you have templates and you can even go to designers websites now and buy all of their templates without having to use a graphic designer. So it's really changed us as entrepreneurs really having to outsource a lot of this like high-end graphic design work. At just 19, Melanie left university and started her very first venture, Fusion Books. This is actually a really interesting project. I've never heard of this before doing the research for this episode. The idea behind Fusion Books was to create an online platform to be able to create and publish yearbooks, which I thought is super interesting. Canva officially launched in 2013 and it quickly became the fastest growing design app, all from down under. This is what I love about this story, is having a woman that has so much entrepreneurial skills. And to be honest, in Australia, if you consider yourself an entrepreneur, people don't necessarily know what that means. And I just I feel really empowered by the fact that A, Melanie started her career at 19. Like, it means that you are not bound by any age. I love the mission behind Canva. It was to really create a platform to democratize design, making design available to anyone, whether you have a background in it or not. I can really say that I have a designer's eye, but do I have the time to sit there and learn Photoshop? No. I want to do something quickly. I need to like rough it out so that I can get a visual concept and then I can let a designer take to the next level. But sometimes prior to Canva, I couldn't imagine having to be able to put these kind of like mood boards even together without having a design tool that is so friendly and really affordable to use. Starting from a small user base, Canva grew very rapidly and now it serves millions. Over 85% is from Fortune 500 companies. So this is a great B2B and B2C tool. And what I love about this is the fact of how Canva goes out and actually markets their tool. It's very much fun and flirty and it makes design feel easy and kind of just like effortless. Canva's valuation soared to 40 million by 2021, making Melanie a leading female in tech. I loved this cool fact that I found out that Melanie loved to kite surf. It was a way for her to actually interact with investors. Like every entrepreneur, we all face an obstacle that we have to overcome. For Mulaney, interestingly, it was the ability to actually find investors. It took Mulaney over a hundred investor meetings to actually find the right fit for Canva, which to me, I'm not surprised by. I go out there all the time for Deal Diary and I'm constantly looking for investors. But A, you don't want to be in bed with someone that doesn't have the same value system as you. And also if you're pitching something and they don't really seem to actually see the vision of your brand, you don't want to do a deal with them. So it's actually quite common for a lot of founders to struggle to find the right investor or investor group to actually back their business because this will lead to either a beautiful billion dollar valuation or it could lead to actually having a lot of internal nightmares. Another challenge Canva had to overcome was the ability to actually change languages. Some languages actually read right to left, which I didn't realize that, but there was a lot of kind of, I guess, issues when redesigning the UX for those other languages. So 
you know, in tech, I feel like even though you have such high margins, you do have a lot of headaches when it comes to dealing with engineers and really making sure that your UX and UI experience makes sense when you're going global. Obviously in 2021, they were valued at 40 billion. Could you imagine this? I think a lot of people can become very greedy and really lead from the ego. Whereas Mulaney and the other co-founders decided to actually donate money. And so they actually joined an organization called Giving Pledge. And I just think it's really beautiful. Like I couldn't imagine having a $40 million valuation. I know that it could be possible for me, but at the same time, like if I was in that kind of position, even a lot less than that, even when you're in a millionaire, you want to give a portion back because at the end of the day, I feel like the universe is a real karmic energy. And I think the more that we give, even to our community, the more that we'll end up receiving. So what can we learn from these amazing tech startups. Well, currently Canva is valued at 26 billion. So it's coming down a lot in the last couple of years. There was a kind of like a unicorn rush with these tech valuations being oversaturated. Let's say that you're a W2 employee and you have the opportunity to go and negotiate your package for a tech startup. Make sure that you get a large portion of stock options and shares inside of your package because I actually knew an amazing designer who got to work from for Canva. She actually moved all the way from the UK and that when they went public, those shares let me tell you, she cashed out and she cashed out big. If you are a part of a tech startup or you can see a business that you would love to go and work for, this could be a really huge payday for you with your stock options as an employee. I wanted to round this out by saying, don't let your own fear get in the way of being able to achieve greatness. If this resonates with you, please subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps make this video push out to other females. And also let me know, who would you love to shadow for a day? A CEO, a female founder, who would you love to be mentored by? Comment below. I appreciate you and have an amazing day.